começar a minha live. We were here again, now we're live. So let's start, let's restart, let's resume, resume our class. Okay, so I have a, only one question for you. Does fashion matter? Does fashion matter? A moda realmente importa, ok? A moda realmente importa? Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. So let's sign in. That's right. Student books. Unix two. Workbook and review. So let's return to our exercise page thirty six, activity one. Okay, guys. So I'm up here. Open your book to page thirty six, activity one. Hi again. Hello, hello, hello. So read the article and check the fashion industry activity they are mentioned. Are mentioned, are mentioned. Read the article and check the fashion industry activities that are mentioned. Okay, <clears throat> let's read it again. Fashions matters, whether we think about it or not, what we wear matters. Fashion reflects our nature, needs, and for variation, creativity, and belonging. Beyond that, it's an enormous industry that involves billions of dollars, so it's important to consider how it affects our society and environment. environment. Fashions allow us to express our personality preference, interest, culture, and so much more. So it's, in the, it's a, an essential aspect of our, of our life, of our life. It generates numerous jobs. Oh, it generates gen numerous jobs in all segments of industry from the productions of raw materials and the final products all the way to store everywhere. Nowadays, it offers a, offer us a lot of options to wear what we want than in the past. To make more clothes, the industry needs more fabric. And here we have a very interesting word, fabric. 
Okay, so let's learn about the word fabric. What's the meaning of fabric? Fabric. Let me show you a fabric. Here we have some fabrics. Okay? Here we have some fabrics. Oh my gosh! Fabrics. And here we have a orange or mustard fabric. And here we have some fabrics 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 so what is the meaning of fabrics what is the meaning of fabric right right in the chat what's the meaning of fabric Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fabric is fabrics we have here. Cotton's fabrics market. Oh nice. Look at that raw fabrics, a beautiful fa fabric. A beautiful fabric too as well. Here we have island fabric. Island fabrics. Oh, here we have a lot of fabrics. What's the meaning of fabric? Answer in the chat. Responda aí no chat o que é fabric. What is the meaning of fabric? Okay, let's return to our task. So, producing fabrics requires the use of a toxic products that contaminate the soil, pollute the water, and cause many health problems for workers. Productions also include cutting the fabric into specific shapes, but it but these generate a lot of textile waste that is difficult to be recycled. In some cases, people who make the clothes do not get decent payment and because of this, they live in a poverty and terrible condition. Considering all this, considering all this it's important to choose and buy consciously. Fortunately, there are ways we can contribute to reduce and fashion's negative impact for example, not buying items that we do not really need, knowing where our clothes come from and who makes them, and looking for producers that recycle and reuse materials. So, next time we are in store, let's remember that fashion really matters and that this includes our own clothes, okay? So, let's answer the questions here. Let's answer. No, Giovanna, fabric is not a fabrica. Fabric is tecido. Fabric is tecido. Ok? Tecido. E como que é fábrica em inglês? Nós temos duas palavras para fábrica, né? Vamos pegar aqui. Você tá vendo? Que eu te mostrei vários tecidos. Eu, I show you a lot of... Uh, a lot of fabrics. So, okay, here we have a tissue, okay? 
Is that right? Agora, como é que é fábrica, então, né? Então, vamos lá. Fábrica. Factory, né? A palavra é factory. Cadê a aula? A aula tá aqui. Então, factory is fábrica. Take Pay attention to that, pay attention to that, ok? Factory is fábrica, and fabric is tecido. Pay attention to that, ok? Fabric, factory. Então, quando você vai ler, esse é um tipo de pegadinha chamada false, false friends. False friends. Se você, quem leu o texto achando que era fábrica, entendeu uma coisa. Mas agora, ao reler, sabendo que é tecido, vai entender outra coisa, tá? Então, anotem essas palavrinhas aí que são chatinhas, ok? So, let's answer together. Read the article and check the fashion industry activities that are mentioned. Ok. A design of a new styles and trends. O nosso, o nosso texto fala disso aqui. A design of a new styles and trends. Yes or no? Of course, no. Ok? Of course, no. A productions of fabrics and other materials. Yes or yes? Sure, yes. Oh, that's nice. And production of clothes and other other items yes and send the items to stores around the world yes and consumers buying the items yes and the last one use clothes being discarded no our tax doesn't treat doesn't is not about that okay so let's submit 10 of 10 no submission has been successful oh that's great thank you oh my gosh so productions of fabrics and other materials productions of clothes and other items send the items to stores around the world and consumers buy the items okay So, let's answer here. Oh my gosh, here. Answer the questions according to the article, okay? Answer the questions according to the article. So, how does the fashion industry impact the environment neg negatively? Let's click together. And let's answer. So, yeah, is here. So it requires. Oh my gosh! It requires the use of the of a toxic of a toxic product. That's the first one. Products, okay? That's the first one. That contaminate. That contaminate. Nate. Uh, that contaminate the soil. It contaminate the soil and pollute the water, and and pollute the water. 
okay and it also generates a lot of a test and it generates a lot of text text based okay dot the second one let's answer the second one how does the fashion interest industry impact its work negatively because of uh, toxic product in-house okay the use of a toxics the use of a toxic products uh, cause many house house problems for workers okay. they don't get they don't get decent payment decent payment okay they don't get decent payment and because of the because of that and because of that because of that they live in poverty they live in pover poverty okay so the use of tax products cause many house problems for workers they don't get the a decent payment and because of that they live in a poverty okay and the last one the last one so let's answer the last one and how can how can we reduce the negative impact of the fashion's interest by not buying items by by not buying items uh, items that we don't know that we don't really know really know sorry really need uh, you know if you don't buy anything you don't need you don't um, it's, they don't need to product to produce if you don't need what you don't if you don't buy what you what you don't need let's uh, resume the sentence if you uh, don't buy what you don't need they they want niche product to produce okay and i i, I remember a story there's uh there are in brazil two or three factories fashion factories and who not which here in brazil we have uh, two or three uh, uh, fashion factories which uh, contracts Bolivians for producing their clothes but they the factory didn't pay uh, didn't pay a decent wage for them so the the advertisement of those um, the advertisement of those factories was oh we have a, a ethical contract with you nós temos um contrato ético com vocês but they didn't pay a decent wage for 
their employees. Mas eles não pagavam um salário decente para os empregados. É, the Bolivians uh, who works who work there who worked there uh, lived a, lived a, a terrible and miserable life in Brazil because th those factors. Ok? Então, toma muito cuidado. A gente tem que tomar cuidado. Existe uma cultura nova no mundo chamada minimalismo, né? É que é bom você não comprar nada daquilo que você não precisa, né? Porque a maior, maior grita que o comércio tem, a maior grita que a produção tem, é que a gente precisa de tal coisa. Eu recomendo que vocês assistam um videozinho chamado A História das Coisas. Ok? Submit. Ok. Oh, the last one. Oh. already answered here look at the look at the people in the images and describe their style one two three one three five two six four and seven so here One pad back, okay. Pad back, no, no pad back, uh, aid back, aid back, oh, laid back, né? Que vai ficar, fica lad back. Let me show you what's the lay. Lead back. Lead back. Lay back. Okay. Lead back, please. Lay back. If you are in this kind of clothes, you are laid back. Lead back. Okay. The second one, preppy, 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 preppy style, preppy, preppy. Preppy clothes. Okay, preppy. The third one, third one. Classy. Classy. Okay. Classy. 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 Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't believe I did it. Oh no. Classy. And the last one. The last one here. The last one here. Friendly. Okay. Trendy. 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 Okay. So, lead back, lead back, preppy, classy, trendy. Oh, my God. I've, here, uh, here I forgot to put uh, iPhone, uh, tracinho. Entendeu? Ok, 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 ok. Next page. So, complete the word. 
complete the cross post with the number of the items from the activity tree. E aqui a gente vai precisar olhar a página anterior, né? A gente vai ter que olhar a página anterior para descobrir o nome do, do, do material, né? Então, vamos lá. O número 1. Um. O número 1. Um. Cadê o número 1? Um? O número 1. Um. E aí, qual é o probleminha aqui? A ordem que está aqui, visual no livro de vocês... Não é a ordem que está aqui quando a gente clica. Ó. Tá vendo o 1? O 1 começa aqui. Ó. Então está invertido uh, o desenho. Então eu vou ter que fazer o seguinte. Eu vou ter que mostrar para vocês no livro do professor já respondido. Porque não vai dar para fazer na ordem. Então agora... Continua lá. So here we have a uh, aqui. Acho que assim fica melhor de vocês verem. Porque o nosso livro, a atividade como ela foi pensada, ela não dá para ver lá. Mas aí a gente vai fazer junto aqui. Ok? Então vamos lá. Começando aqui com, por cima. Hoodie. Hoodie. Né? Hoodie. Que é o agasalho de moletom, né? Então... A, a número 1 um aí tá com as alhas de moletom, é o senhor, né? Hoodie. Uh, three socks. Meias, socks. Three socks. And five sneakers. Sneakers. Tênis, beleza? Na imagem 2 nós temos number 6. Dress. Dress. Na, no número 3 nós temos o número 4, shirt and skirt. Shirt, camisa, skirt, saia. Então veja, dress, vestido, skirt, saia. E na imagem 4 a gente tem dois. O, o glasses, óleo, óculos, né? glasses, óculos e oito Pants, calça. Ok? Preencheram aí? Vamos fazer o exercício 6 dessa página, então. Então, o 5 é um exercício aberto, né? Então, vamos fazer o exercício aberto lá. 5 é um exercício aberto. Whose book is this? This book is mine. This book is mine ok? whose pens or pencils are you are you using? those those are mine então são meus uh, whose house or apartment do you live? my parents one my parents My parents. One. No apartamento dos meus pais. Beleza? My parents. One. And whose songs do you like to listen? Mm. High hopes. Panic at disco. Ok? Tu, 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 tu. I answered exercise 5 and exercise 6. Rewrite this sentence. Okay? This computer belongs to Joshua's sisters. Rewrite the sentence, replace the words in both with an ob object pronoun. Okay. So, Joshua's sisters 
da go this computer belongs to her okay charlotte is waiting for her father charlotte charlotte is waiting is waiting for him okay and jason walks to school with andrew and ruby every day so jason jason walks to school with them every day and these dresses belongs to her and me these dresses belongs to us okay this computer belongs to us let's go no submit on your way charlotte is waiting for him não ah eu errei o nome da charlotte a frase está correta mas eu errei o nome da charlotte ok E onde eu errei aqui, é que eu coloquei um S que não, per, não pertence. Então, aqui eu errei o, o nome da Charlotte, Kralote, tá vê? E aqui eu errei o S que não tinha, dedos nervosos. Vamos ver as respostas? Belong to us e Charlotte. Beleza? Corrijam aí. Beleza? Ok, 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 ok. So... Let's do it. Oh, beleza. Só agora que eu vi que era para mexer um pouco mais pro lado. Eu volto lá. Eu volto lá. É. Ah, não. Vamos fazer de novo, que eu já que eu vacilei. Acho que era esse, né, que eu tava fazendo. Então vamos fazer de novo. Deixa eu ver se tá bem direitinho. Acho que agora tá certinho, né? Acho que agora dá para ver, dá para corrigir. Desculpa, eu não tinha visto que não tava dando para ver. Vamos lá, Júlia. É, sim, Júlia Rufa, sim, nós teremos dois livros. Assim que acabar esse livro, a nossa pretensão é que a gente dê uma corrida com esse livro agora, tá? Inclusive eu vou, na lição, na unidade 3 e 4, nós vamos ser mais rapidinho. Eu vou deixar o gabarito do, das, dos exercícios já pronto. Nós vamos estudar e eu vou mandar o, o, o gabarito para vocês. Beleza? E, e assim que, eu, que nós começarmos a unidade 3, nós vamos mais, de uma forma mais rápida, tá? Nós vamos procurar de uma forma mais rápida. Daí, logo que é começar as aulas em agosto, nós vamos começar o livro 2. Acredito eu que o livro 2 já esteja na escola. Alguns alunos já falaram para mim do tal do livro 2. Quando é, que começamos, como é que, quando é que começamos o livro 2, tá bom? Eu vou deixar que vo, para que vocês façam a unidade de revisão. É... Eu vou deixar que vocês façam a unidade da revisão e aí a gente corrige isso mandando o gabarito para vocês depois, que é a página 38 e 39, ok? So... Acho que eu respondi a sua pergunta, né? Então vamos lá. Aqui. Complete the sentence with the correct possessive, possessive pronouns. These are my class. These are my class. These are. So, 
these armor glass they are mine uh, that's Nick's coat that is his those are Sarah's that's hers this is our coat it's ours and I'm on these are your Philips there are hers okay this is yours huh? let's say yours Então, corrijam aí, ok? Típico exercício que vai cair na prova de vocês. Típico exercício que vai cair na prova de vocês. These are my glasses. They are mine. That's Nick's coat. It's his. Those are Sarah's sandals. They are they're hers. This is our coat car. It's ours. Emma, these are your flip-flops. Flip flops, they are yours. Flip flops, yours. Okay, so start it again. Start it again. <sighs> fill the blanks. Fill the blanks. Fill the blanks. Okay, fill the blanks is in whose? A possessive pronoun or an object pronoun? When Samuel, Samuel is on vacation, when Samuel is on vacation, uh, he always goes to the beach with the fa with her family he loves everything about it except having to share a room with his sister Sophia he doesn't like it he doesn't like it because she al always makes a big mess he makes his bed but she doesn't make hers and always leaves her things all over the room sometimes their parents get angry and ask whose mess whose mess is this de quem que é essa bagunça Samuel tells them these things don't belong to me mine 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 are tied and neat então, as minhas estão guardadas e ajeitadas arrumadas but unfortunately in the end he always has to help Sofia organize her things. Okay? Oh, meu Deus. O que eu escrevi errado? É, escrevi com letra minúscula. Depois da vírgula, né? Vou perguntar. É com letra maiúscula. Quer ver? É. Escrevi com letra maiúscula. Minúscula. Ok? Tá aí. Corrijam aí. Beleza? Vamos nos minutos finais aí da nossa aula. Uh, ver o... Vamos lá na página 41 do livro de vocês, beleza? Página 41, eu quero ver com vocês um vídeo. Eu não sei, acredito que não seja aqui, acho que é aqui. Página 41. Depois a gente volta. Não se desesperem. Ok. Yay, I'm finally back! So the reason why I didn't make a video in such a long time is this! Or actually more like this. It's Sophie's first cosplay outfit. She chose a character she liked and built the costume herself. I designed this costume myself and for those of you who don't know, it's a Twi'lek from Star Wars. Making a costume like this is a lot of work and usually takes a long time. I designed and built this whole thing in two weeks or something. Not bad for a beginner. Sophie really likes dressing up, but that's not the only reason why she decided to do it. One of the things that I realized I really love about cosplay is that it kind of forces you to learn new skills all the time. So of course, if you make your own costumes, you will learn all these different things that you need to learn in order to actually make the costume. Drawing things on wood was just one new thing she learned. 
But then it also teaches you about all these things that you would never even think about. You learn the hard way that if something doesn't work the first time, you can just try again. Nothing ever works on the first try, like ever. That just doesn't happen. And if it still doesn't work, you have to find another way of doing it. So yay, I finally did my first cosplay. And I actually designed this for Comic-Con Germany in Stuttgart in June. It was on my birthday. People wanted to talk to me and take pictures with me. I absolutely didn't think that was going to happen, so... Yeah, she forgot to make a video. So what are we looking at? Sophie and her friends are on their way to Cologne for Gamescom. This time, she remembered to make a video, and she even participated in a costume contest. She didn't win, though. It's just a very easy way to find people who share the same interests as you, and it's just it's so much fun. But it was just a great experience, and I got to meet so many awesome people, so yeah, it was awesome. That's my new favorite word. So, that's the end of our class. Okay, guys, so have a nice weekend. So, for... Então, vai ficar como tarefa a página 38 e 39. Deixa eu anotar aqui na luzinha de vocês. Ah, não é aqui. Não é aqui. É aqui. Então, homework. Página 38 e 39 desse livro. Beleza? Ah, tá aqui. Em, em vermelhinho. Aqui embaixo. Belezinha? Tranquilo? See you guys. Então, Gustavo, na verdade eu acertei os 5, né? Eu acertei os 5. Ah, 4 das 5? Vamos voltar lá então. Vamos ver se eu acho aqui. A 4 das 5. A música, né? Eu, eu disse que era Eu gosto de ouvir High Hopes Do Panic At the Disco Ok? Bye bye Então a resposta é pessoal, tá? Então não tinha uma resposta Padrão não, a resposta vocês podem responder, porque é a música que você deu. Tô indo embora, já que estão me expulsando daqui. Beijo, tchau.